You could go now. <laughs> Come on, this town <laughs> with the traffic. No one said anything about driving. We're taking my chopper, okay? Hi guys, welcome back to Wako's Review. The only reviewer that will pick his wife with how good she can twerk. So if you want to subscribe to me after I just said that, please subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you'll be notified on whenever I post, guys. Okay, like this video if you can twerk. No one will like the video now, Prince. Jeez. Rolling through. It shocked me that some people started noticing that on every of my videos, Jasmine has always been used as the thumbnail. But what do you expect from a man that is in love? A man that will pass through mountains and oceans just to make Jazzy happy. She's my queen. My, the reason why I am alive. <coughs> The more I keep doing this thing, the more my neighbors will notice that something's wrong with me. Boret TV shocked us by posting a video that was 42 minutes long. So you already know there's a lot to unpack. So let's get into it. Let's get straight right into it. Let's get everything into it. That's my uh, American accent. You can rate it over 10, how good it is. Let's get right into it. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there has been one character that I obviously do not like. It's not about him or the way he spends his money. It's his existence. I don't like this guy. I mean, who got home to hold this child? <laughs> this child. <laughs> then Jasmine had to confess after the maid told Aminu someone came visiting. And Jasmine said the truth. She said her uncle came and he wanted to know if Aminu was going to marry her. That clip where she was being strangled never happened. It was a joke. Red TV was joking with you. It's a full of full. For the field condition. You already know that Amino has been chasing this petroleum contract for a while now, but we never really knew why this was so serious because for the first time the show was showing Amino doing business. And why I said that was because Amino has just been this character that has like an endless source of income and he buys things without even thinking. He's acting like he's in living in bondage. But the deal is he used his father's company as collateral and that was why his dad came here and started playing this game that I used to play with my friends. It's called Let's Shout and see which person's vein will pop out of its socket first. They are vehicles. But Aminu was talking to his dad on how as a company they need to diversify to be ahead of the game so he can spend money uselessly. And the more they keep talking about this petroleum stuff, the more I feel Aminu is about to be scammed. And Dread TV, if this is your plan, I will be the happiest man in the world. Please, Lord. Please make this man poor. Patrick then came in dressed like 80% of Abuja men and he got smacked by Aminu. <laughs> Just for dressing that way, actually. Not because he was saying rubbish, but because of what he wore. Hey! You, Aminu, you dare come here again! Oh, baby, 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 please, don't, don't be scared, baby. Don't be scared. Just two men settling their issues the men way. Two strong men settling it like men. I'm doing my best in this review to be hated by e-feminists. I'm doing my best. I'm saying all the keywords. Ty and his babe are still in the early stage of love. She stays in his house, eats his food for free, wears his clothes. Just what you expect an Instagram relationship to be like. So in this episode, he tries to force her to get a job by chasing her career, which is in fashion. Just what you don't expect an Instagram relationship to be like. He reassures her that he won't break up with her, that all he wants her to be is independent. He wants her to stand alone. He wants her to be alone in the world. He wants her to be a strong, independent woman that stands alone. He wants her to be a feminist. He wants her to be an e-feminist. <laughs> Alright, that is the last feminist joke I have. It's fine. I realized that uh, this is an accident. Tara then got the worst news in the world for a rich kid that has been expelled from probably many universities. She got cut off by her father and her dad told her that if she wants to spend money, it has to come from her pocket. But he did not leave her dry. He said if she has a business idea, he would fund that business. Oh oh, oh oh, you already know where this one is going to. But this actually pushed Tiara. I'm not sure. Tiara started thinking of business ideas and she really has the schedule of a rich businessman already. She thinks of 50% of an idea, rest for 6 days, and on the 7th day, 
Hope to God that she remembers what she thought of because <laughs> I know for a fact that she would misplace that book. <laughs> Louis and Lola are going through relationship issues. Apparently, he did not tell her that he used his first phone to build that his El Lange, 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 it's, it's a it's French. And she was pissed that he would throw away their future just like that. They fought and she was like, Lola. You know what? You treated me better when I was your mistress. This is where I have to stop you, Lola, please. Are you in Nigeria at all? If you're a Nigerian or you live in Nigeria, you should know that it is embedded in our soul that when you get a side chick, you have to treat her better than your wife. I'm sorry, Lola, that you don't know the game. That is the game. Why do you think no one is married now? That's the game. Lanre, the man of the year. The only guy that will make TMC turn into MTV. MTV Sugar, <laughs> you get? Because he keeps sleeping with girls, huh? you get? You get? You should get. In the last episode, his mom came visiting. In this episode, his mom started nagging on how he should get married. And if he can't find a good lady in Lagos, she would bring someone for me, but don't for him. <laughs> First of all, no ma. Let him do what he wants to do. He's a man on a mission. And that mission is to teach the youth. What happens when you sleep with multiple partners? <laughs> but her issue is she wants him to stop having mummies because he's jealous. And I understand. Then he explains to his guys why Mrs. Lawson was in his house. And Tayo said these words. Because you know that the owner of the berry. The the berry the <laughs> you can see him feel himself like he's a champion. <laughs> he's a champion now. <laughs> Is it actually sweet? Larry's mommies then have a meeting on how they would schedule Larry. Alright, you have him on Monday, I have him on Tuesday, and maybe we can collab on Wednesday. If he's still alive on Thursday, you can have him. We talk on many things from marriage to her wanting to meet Lewis's mom because of Lola. And yeah, yeah all those things are okay, but the highlight of the conversation was when she said, we all need oiling. I was like, ha ha that's funny. Oiling. Because you, you are old. You get... That's why you need oiling. At the end of the episode, Tiara moved in with Tayo. Larry went to meet Mummy 3. And after the end credit, Lewis was arrested for no reason. Because this is Nigeria. Who has time to train the policemen on how to read some people their rights? My expectations are simple. I love Jasmine. Some of you might be wondering, that's not an expectation, Prince. Now I'll remind you, this is my channel, guys, and I dictate what happens. You can't tell me what to do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Drop your expectations down below. Have you dropped it? Start typing. And if you girls need some oil in, I'm always available. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I don't know how long it is, but I, I'm sweating as usual. And I know a lot of people hate when I complain about me sweating. But like I'm in a confined space, guys. <sighs> Question of the day. You, you, my dad just literally scared me. Is that Joshua? Is that you? Why are you, why are you there? Goodness, you, I, everywhere is dark and you just showed your face. My heart just skipped a bit now, guy. Don't ever do that thing again in your life. I will scare you back. I, I mean it. <laughs> Sorry guys. Thank you guys for watching. Question of the day. I don't know if I've asked this before. What phone are you using? And what phone would you like to be using instead? I'm not buying it for you. So don't ask me to buy it for you. I'm using a Samsung A10s. The S is called Supreme. It's better than your phone. If you're using an iPhone X. I wanted to see the, the F thing. But I'm not going to say it. But just know that's what I wanted to say initially. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. Please show your friends. I hope I'm recording. Bye.